Senator Pate. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Senator Gold, research from the Institut de Recherche d'Information Socioeconomique in Quebec recently highlighted the extent to which large companies have participated in offshore tax avoidance while also receiving public subsidies from the federal government. In one example, a Montreal-based multinational transferred 99.2 million in profits offshore in 2021 while also receiving 115.7 million from the federal government in the form of COVID-19 wage and rent subsidies. What concrete steps is the government taking to investigate and make accountable companies that simultaneously claim to public subsidies while also dodging taxes? Senator Gold. Thank you for your question and for your continued advocacy on this. As I've said before, uh, uh, it is important that everyone must contribute their fair share uh, to uh, finance a public services, and the government has, redoubling its, uh, has redoubled its efforts uh, to make sure that they pay and that they don't use lo loopholes to avoid their responsibility. It's my understanding that the CRA employs experts and continues to use sophisticated tools to better detect and deal with the most serious cases of non-compliance. For example, by using electronic tools to conduct risk assessments of the corporate tax returns of all large businesses, the CRA is improving its ability to detect high risk transactions and to focus its audit resources in the areas of highest risks. It will continue, the CRA will continue to relentlessly track down those who use tax havens or other tax avoidance schemes to avoid paying their fair share. Senator Pate. Thank you for that, Senator Gold. The government is continuing to require uh, repayment, however, from individuals, including many who desperately needed income support and legitimately claimed the CERB during the pandemic. In at least 27,000 cases, the government was in error and the individuals who repaid money were actually entitled to the CERB. What steps is the government taking to ensure its efforts to recuperate COVID-19 benefits focus on those who took and profited most, not those who have the fewest resources, including no money to hire teams of lawyers to defend themselves? Senator Gould. For the question, as we mentioned, uh, and it's important to re remind ourselves when we passed this, CERB, the government was put in place to urgently help Canadians, and the government said verifications would be done, done later. The government recognized that the situation of every taxpayer is different, uh, and re uh, for the reimbursement of excess CERB payments and for, the, to, for those most vulnerable uh, taxpayers, I've been informed that CRA works with diligence and with empathy on a case-by-case -case basis to resolve their debts based upon their ability to pay.